All right, here's a chart that I posted on Twitter, and I may have sent it to YouTube as well, back on January 14th. Now, the high came in December, mid-December of 2022, and then, you know, I could see it was starting to sell off, and I realized, hey, something different is happening here with Pfizer. Because if you look at all the prior 144-week cycles, this one, this one, this one, going all the way back, they captured lows. This one was capturing a high. So that means that that huge uptrend marked by a series of higher lows uh, suddenly came to an end because now it's forming a lower high, right? So that gave you more uh, confidence that this was going to be a big sell-off. So the other thing you might note that how far do you go back if we scroll back, we can see, again, it's still forming lows all the way back. You have to go all the way back to November of, what is it, 20, uh, 2000. Wow, that's that's a long ways. Um, November of 2000 was a high. It was actually a lower high. Um, and that was how far you have to go back if you're doing that 144-week cycle to find something where it actually formed a high, like it did just here. So I think it marks the beginning of a massive move down. I don't think it's near done going down. Of course, it's lost more than half its value. It may lose 90%. Who knows? Hard to say. We just know that this trend, marked by a series of higher lows in sync with 144-week cycles, has suddenly terminated with a high, a lower high in sync with 144 week cycle. So that that tells you something very valuable. So remember what Gan said, time is more important than price. Because if you did not see the 144 week cycle uh, here in mid-December, you would have probably thought, oh, yeah, it's just going to dip a little bit and go right to new highs. But that 144-week cycle was critically important. If you have a 144 trading day count, that's important. But 144 weeks is more important. 144 months, even more important. So if you're, if you're doing GAN, don't ignore these cycles. That's where you start. You know, you can do the price works, the retracements, square of nine. Um, you can do all that for, for price support and resistance. But what you really need to do is start with time because these cycles are hugely important. And if you ignore time, you're, uh, you're making a huge mistake. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want to see more free reports, register to my website, www.ganalysis.net. Uh, send me an email if you have questions, and um, look forward to hearing from you.